Hi, I'm Chris Gist, Equipment Controls Portfolio Leader. I recently met with a couple of technicians from a large mechanical contracting firm. Jeremy and Eddie, thanks for taking time to show us your experiences. How has the Symbio app changed the way you approach servicing a unit? If I'm arriving on a service call, I'm gonna check in with the customer, kind of figure out what's going on. Then I'm gonna to head to the roof. I'm gonna open up my panel. So I'm gonna pull out my app, which is very easy to get to. Open it up, connect to it Bluetooth. As soon as I connect, I can navigate the app, see if I have any diagnostic codes. Say I've got a diagnostic code that says no airflow. I can go ahead and navigate towards my supply fan um, and kind of see what's going on there. I can navigate through very easily and, and figure out what's going on. One of the things that I go through is I open a panel. The first thing that I want to look at and see if the unit has on it is any alarms. And with the Symbio controller, it's very easy to access that information via the app. You just go in, you see the status that it's in, whether it's running, whether it's not, and then you can simply just look over to see if there's any alarms. Very easy to use. That sounds like it's changed how you're troubleshooting. You save a lot of time with the Symbio controller just because of the fact that you don't have to figure out how to control the unit. Whether you're trying to test it, everything is just right there and it helps you quickly identify what the problem is and exactly where to start your troubleshooting at. One really good example where I had an actual issue with the unit was in fact the airflow issue. Uh, the customer was complaining that he didn't have what felt like for him airflow. So I was able to get to the roof very quickly and I was able to connect and right then and there, no airflow. So I was able to navigate over, figure out that the motor itself was actually grounded. I mean, it was actually just a loose connection that I think uh, over time just, just put stress on the linings. The benefits of the service test mode is that, quite simply, it, let, it allows you to control what you're wanting to test. If you want to check the amps on your blower motor, you switch the blower motor on. If you want to check the cooling cycle, you can just switch the compressor one on. If you want to check both cycles, you check, just control compressor two as well. So it's very simple. What happens if you forget your phone in the truck or the battery dies? Can you work on the unit without the Symbio 700 mobile app? If I don't have a phone, uh, there is still um, buttons that I can use to navigate um, on the Symbio controller. And I can do everything that I need to uh, via buttons. You know, the difference from previous versions was I could use test strips or, or something like that, or I was going off LEDs, and now I can simply use buttons to navigate everything that I need. The other side of the coin are those unplanned hot or cold calls, or the we need you to fix this now situation. So the first thing I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna click on a big banner at the top that says uh, current alarms. Uh, as soon as I click on that, I can actually scroll through all the alarms that I, I guess are active at the time. And I can also see previous um, alarms, uh, maybe that were cleared. So as soon as I can um, open up the app and I'm, and I'm looking at kind of what the unit's doing, I can see what mode it's in, um, if it's, discharging, you know, 55 degree air, which would indicate it's in cooling, heating, whatever it is, um, my return temp, all of that I can see and I can actually literally just pull down and refresh uh, to real time. If I'm looking at the app with a few simple clicks, I can paste the unit, um, kind of see what's running and I can actually turn them on very easily, whether it be the blower, compressor, very simple clicks. Thanks, Jeremy and Eddie. It's been great seeing the Symbio 700 in action today.